But that was an incident when I was, you know, in my youth. Sort of in between, in between shrinks, in between medications, you know, sort of like (laughs) (laughs) semi-drugged. Oh, man. Okay. But anyway, and again, the idea of the Zeph Report changing the world to, 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 to say this, it should not be a requirement to worship Satan in order to, uh, uh, rather to sell one's soul to become dead in order to live. Now, it does prove the existence of Satan and hence the existence of Jesus, right? It proves that that's all real, correct? Because that Satan's a real guy. Satan is a real entity. Yes, it's all real. All these people know Satan down at that club. All these people, you know, everybody knows. Everyone knows Satan. Everyone, everyone knows Satan exists. And if they don't, then, you know, there's no point in talking to this person because they're not serious. You know what I mean? They're not, they're not, there's no point. You just walk on like they're invisible. They're just a prop. They're like a mannequin standing there. Just walk by. I'm only interested in dealing with people that know something. I don't want to deal with people that don't know anything. So part of it is 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 I had to go live I suppose in order to survive myself because there are people in our society that are like policemen that they, they 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 guard against the secret being exposed and they hunt and target people Here, here's that word target targeted individual they make targeted individuals out of people that for whatever reason aren't getting it are not complying okay you understand it's not you know you might think you're just like everybody else but there's something about you that's not like everyone else or you would not be targeted now would you no you would not it's not there's no such thing as random targeting Never was, never will be. It all has a purpose. I know it seems random. I know they tell you that, but that's not true. You didn't, you, we're just unlucky you wound up on some list. Okay. There's my initial rant, Trish. Uh, what? Well, that's it. I, 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 I've bled. Once again, I've bled online. I'm bleeding right now. I'm just bloody. You see, the reason that I get bloody is because I can't fix myself any other way. In other words, I have to uh, sort, of, sort of relive these situations in order to, to, to somehow... I need to grow out of this. I need to, I need to really understand this thing. I mean, I, now, 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 mind you, I have, you know, profited by living in this society, living in America. I intend to profit some more. I like that idea of people innovating things. You know. Alvin Levy suffers from a condition commonly known as EHS, or electromagnetic hypersensitivity, and it's a growing phenomenon the world over. Elsa Retief also suffers from EHS, and it has all but ruined her life. Elsa now spends most of her days in a space of two by one meters under a net lined with silver. It shields her from some radiation, but she still experiences constant pain, dizziness, and feels disorientated. When we visited her, she came out for a short period of time to talk to us. So how much time do you spend in your cage? I spend about 20 hours a day in my two square meter cage. It's 
affected every aspect of my life. I never see my friends anymore. Most of my family think that I'm just um, t telling tall tale stories because no one else recognizes it. Um, I never really see people anymore. I used to have a company. Um, I've lost my company, I've lost my car, I've lost my house. Her debilitating symptoms started two years ago, and she is not alone. Increasingly severe reactions to electromagnetic frequencies are being reported globally. New kinds of wireless technologies and devices have resulted in massive amounts of high and low frequency radiation everywhere in the environment. It is also known as electro smog, and about 5 to 7% of the population is extraordinarily sensitive to it. And that right there is with old technology. Wait till these things start going up absolutely everywhere. The people that laugh and point and chuckle about the targeted individuals, you're going to understand what we were trying to tell you. But for now, I guess not. 